Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th, okay? Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid, okay? So what do we have for a message today? Ten of Swords reversed. I think we, I'm not sure if we had that first yesterday. High Priestess reversed. Lack of awareness. Unaware, not very awakened. Having a hard time seeing clearly. There's some sort of pain here, extreme pain. With that Ten of Swords reversed. Somebody is unaware of the truth. There probably is a secret that is... Uh, it feels like the secret is still being hidden. It could be revealed very, very soon. Nine of Cups reversed. This is this is very similar than the, to the reading. I think it was yesterday's. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But this is like a wish turning into a nightmare. You know, wishing you hadn't got involved in something. Now it's very, very painful. Somebody was totally unaware of what they were getting involved in. This is overdoing it. Completely different deck. I mean, this is dissatisfied. So we have somebody here that is dissatisfied with an outcome. Unhappy. A lack of wish fulfillment. Short-lived you know, wish fulfillment. It may have been good for a minute, but it's not good. I wonder if we have like a relapse here. Somebody is very, uh, maybe they're unhappy. It, obviously, they're unhappy with the Ten of Swords. They're wishing that they didn't do something. They were unaware. They were unaware. They're wishing that they did not get involved in something. Fool, which is a new beginning. Knight of Wands, which is act now, think later, taking a leap of faith. Somebody is going to be doing something uh, very, very suddenly, acting on impulse. There may be some regrets here. Somebody obviously did not see something clearly. They were unaware and they hurt another person really, really badly. Obviously, arrogance was in the way. Anyhow, we have a new beginning in the future, stepping into unknown territory, taking a risk, making a move. Somebody is going to be making a move. This is a very gutsy move. We have somebody here that is very, very disappointed. Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is a horrendous loss. This is a, a unpredictable loss. This is this is also something coming back around with these two cards and they're both tens something isn't over yet there could be some unfinished business here something coming back from the dead to be dealt with there's, a, there's dissatisfaction there's um this is a nightmare of some sort this is a horrendous loss um totally unaware Somebody was totally unaware of what they were doing. They weren't very spiritual. They weren't very awakened. They were ignoring themselves. Perhaps they were listening to some poor advice. But now I feel like there's some excruciating pain. And it's because somebody ignored their, they ignored advice. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a horrendous loss. 
It, it is. It's a fall from grace. It's a setback. It's bad luck. Something coming back to haunt you. Something may be coming back to haunt a person. Their poor choices. Their poor decisions. We even could have some chronic health problems here that are coming back around to be dealt with at this time. Somebody has gone overboard. They've overdid it. The Fool card is a new beginning. It's the, it's, it's the beginning of a new chapter. So starting with a clean slate, starting over. It's time to start over. It's to take action right now. So it's action time. Something is about to happen that is going to, it may force somebody to take action. We have a new beginning. Something is arriving. This is an arrival of some sort. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is very emotional. We may have uh, some sort of emotional support here or love. Um, acting on feelings. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings. They may have... Uh, well, the Queen of Cups is typically very, very intuitive, very compassionate, loving, kind, um, heartfelt, following the heart. Somebody is going to be following the heart. This may have something to do with the heart. Um, action is being taken. Sudden. This is a sudden. Could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. Okay. Stepping into unknown territory. This is crazy. It's risky business because you notice the dog is getting out of here. It's like, no, I'm not doing it. This is, what are you doing? I feel like there's some sort of crazy business here. This is crazy. Why are you doing this? We have somebody here that has this uh, free spirit. It's like, no, I got to go. Do, I'm doing this now. I'm going to do this. There could be some travel that is coming up in the near future. Somebody is going after love. This is going after love. And I feel it's because they have experienced some sort of setback or bad luck or something like that. We definitely have somebody here that is very, very disappointed with the, with uh, an ending. There is a horrendous loss. It is. It's it, there's a horrendous loss here, and we have somebody here that is going to. It's basically this, this horrendous loss is is springing somebody into action. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like we have somebody that is going after deep fulfillment. After a very significant loss. There is some sort of freedom here, too. So this is a freedom. Freedom from a painful situation. Somebody is now free. They're able to move forward. And they're taking action towards emotional fulfillment. both upright the six of wands and the judgment card so this is a life-changing decision this is a hero this is a warrior this is the end of a battle the fight is over uh, the end of the competition 
This is progress being made. This is somebody that is fearless, that is all done playing games, all done fighting, that is going after victory. There, This is a win. This is um, going for the win, has won the battle, but the battle is over. Karma is judgment. It is transcendence. It is absolution. It is the end of things. This is victory after sorrow. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is making a life-changing decision. Um, this may have to do with forgiveness. It could also have to do with a reconciliation or a resurrection. We have somebody here that is... Uh, all done, all done playing games, all done fighting because what comes before the Six of Wands or Five of Wands. So this is the end. It's the end of a battle. It's the end of a fight. We have a winner here that um, is all done. This person is all done. They're all done. The battle is over. The battle, and they're making a decision. This is a life-changing decision. And they're stepping into unknown territory or uncharted territory. It's a, it's a sudden a sudden situation it's very sudden it's a sudden decision um suddenly it's over it's a sudden it could it's, it, yeah it's like a sudden ending it is and i think it's shocking there's something coming there could be something coming back from the dead or this could be you know uh a sudden ending okay um you don't see it coming it's not something that is predictable i don't think it's predictable um, either way, there is some sort of absolution. This is the end of a trial, okay? Because you think about judgment. Judgment is typically, you know, you're out of court. There's a trial. It's the end of a trial. The verdict is in. It's time. It's time. And now, this is about releasing and forgiving and moving on. This is a chance, asking for a chance. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness, asking for a chance. Whatever is happening, they are making a decision to uh, stop fighting something. Whatever it is, they're not, they're done fighting. Somebody is done fighting. This is the end. It's the end of a battle. We have, there could be some public recognition that is coming. We have somebody here that is, has fought a very good fight, but now the fight, the battle is over. I feel like there could be some emotional disappointment here, emotional disappointment. Judgment is a card of truths being revealed. It is also karma, you know, and it's right over here. We have the the Wheel of Fortune reversed. There is karma in destiny here. Somebody may have received some karma for uh, hurting another person as well because of that Ten of Swords. That's excruciating pain. So I'm wondering what, what's going on here. But I feel like the pain is over. I feel this is freedom from the pain. This is being held accountable. It is the end of things. It's a spiritual awakening after somebody has not been aware. This is a wake-up call. It's an epiphany. Somebody may be getting an epiphany and taking action right now. They may be asking for forgiveness and going after, you know, somebody that they love, that they hurt really badly there could be a reconciliation with somebody from a past life because the judge in the past it doesn't have to be a past life in this situation there could be a reconciliation with somebody from the past 
Judgment represents the past. But there is also the past coming back to haunt you with that Wheel of Fortune reverse. So somebody's past is coming back to haunt them. They've repeated negative patterns over and over and over again. Maybe it's time to accept responsibility and be held accountable for those actions. Somebody is ready to be judged. They are ready. They are ready to be judged. They are ready for their new life. They are ready to start with a clean slate. And they are disappointed and unhappy and dissatisfied with the current circumstances. And that's why they are taking action. They, they may have been left for dead by somebody in there, somebody else. This is the end of things, okay? There is also someone from the other side with that judgment card that is guiding somebody towards love. Somebody is unaware that there is, I feel like there's an arrival, there's some, that somebody is coming. So this is a new beginning, it's a new phase of life. that is going to bring emotional fulfillment. I do feel like there's going to be an emotional release as well or an emotional reconciliation. I believe somebody got themselves into some sort of karmic situation that didn't work out. And I say that because of the Wheel of Fortune reversed. I feel like we have somebody here, somebody that is asking for forgiveness. They're, they're replacing their fear with faith and they're stepping into unknown territory and they just want to start with a clean slate. So I do, I do, we do have a new beginning here. Absolutely. Impulsive, impulsive energy. This is acting on impulse, starting, starting a new chapter, starting a new life because judgment is about a new life as well. So we have the, I think we have the beginning of a new life. I also feel like deep fulfillment is coming after somebody accepts the truth about something because karma or the judgment card is about accepting the truth, taking responsibility for actions, releasing, forgiving. Anyhow, this is the end of a painful situation. The battle is over. The competition is over. We got somebody here that is all done. And they are probably... Uh, ready. They're ready. They're ready to relax. They're ready to uh, just live a better life. Whoever this person is was unaware. They were unaware of what they were doing. But I think this is like an epiphany. It's like seeing the light, honestly. And I don't need the hermit card. This is an awakening of some sort. Somebody is, is getting an awakening. So anyway, right around the corner, we have a new beginning. This is exciting. We have an exciting new beginning here. It's crazy. 
It's crazy. But there's a need to release the past. There is somebody coming in. This person is fearless. This person is fearless. They have been through their own battles and they're looking for love and they're going after love. So anyway, I, I, I feel like it's going to be, um, I feel like there's some sort of reunion here. And I, and I don't like to say that very often. I don't want to get people's hopes up. But I feel like there's, a, there's a, an emotional reunion. And it could be with somebody from a past life, okay? freedom there's freedom here as well somebody may be breaking free from something that just about killed them they're releasing out of self love whatever is happening we have a new beginning here. It is exciting and things are going to happen fast. It's very fast moving energy. It's an impulsive decision thing. It's, it happens so fast. Good luck.